So right guys, we made it to the airport. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's really empty at the moment, which is just what I like. So instead of, you know, um, fighting or queuing up like ridiculously. Um, so yeah, apparently my flight is full as well. So the good thing is I have a window, a nice window seat to be able to film the sunrises tomorrow morning and all that kind of stuff. So it should be cool right now. I'm trying to get my bag wrapped up. Uh, Malaysia is a bit dodgy, so I'm going to get my bag wrapped up because there's like hard drives and stuff like that in there. And then, yeah, we'll check in with you a little bit later when we go past custom and everything. Alright guys, so we just uh, checked in and everything, so I'm um, just going to do a test here. I have my hand carrier luggage. It's 11. Um, so yeah, so the bag I'm carrying with me into the flight, well my carry-on is 11.2 kilos, but they didn't check it, so it's okay. We made it in. Flight's delayed. We bought some little present thingy for the place we can stay later. Apparently, we're going to have to stay for free, I just realized. And then, um, yeah, so we bought a little souvenir that we to have to to say thank you. Um, <coughs> I really enjoy for a fan time moment. Waiting for my pizza. So I'm a bit hungry. Yeah. Seems like a full flight, so I'm not really looking forward to that. Should be a good flight. Well, we're still sitting here at the airport. The last the, the plane we're taking. Um, so we actually just landed from uh, with the flight from Malaysia. So the, the crew is really busy. You can, we can see the crew busy um, unloading the plane and loading up with um, fresh supplies for us. Um, apparently, uh, I'm getting off at KL, but the plane is actually um, continuing always to Dubai, which is why it's a packed plane. So, yeah. Right guys, we are in KL. Welcome to KL Malaysia. Um, we are currently in KL IA. Um, flight was sort of pleasant but wasn't really in a sense I was really cramped in the window seat. Maybe next time I'm gonna do windows and <coughs> And yeah, so I gotta meet mom here somewhere. But um, I think I gotta get a SIM card first so I can call mom to find out where she is. So that's gonna be a mission, so let's go. Right, so apparently we are somewhere in the central hub or something like that. But nowhere near where we need to go. We need to go to Magic Party, which apparently we need to take. Uh, Elbow train, sorry, that's what's behind me, sorry. I'm gonna wait for the train and go from there. Alright, I'm a bit lost at the moment, I'm not sure where to go, but I think. Because I hold a Malaysian passport, I went through the, I went through immigration. Pretty much took me 20 seconds. Put my passport onto to the self thingy. They check my thumbprint. Bam, I'm out. Pretty cool. Love to do that when I go back to Australia. I tell you what, one thing I gotta say about Malaysia 
the airport is that the people here live a little bit closer so they do go through your bags behind the scenes and have a So I stood here for uh, 10 minutes and I've noticed at least five bags that's been damaged because they have been cracked into and a few that's kind of been open or been tried to be open and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so if ever you are coming to Malaysia and come with a bag of these valuables in your bag, always a glad wrap. Hey, to glad wrap it up so that they can actually open it. So, yeah. Feeling my fragile all over the box. Been kicked in. I think the top's been sort of open as well. So, I found up. I found up. Um, yeah, she actually has more bags coming into in the state than I have coming overseas. Anyway, so that's pretty funny. But we've got a friend pick us up now. And, um, first impression, hot, hot ass. Anyway, so, yes, we're gonna go find this car. Stripping and mopping, making it livable. I've never seen this before. Old school style mopping. Okay, so we pretty much cleaned most of it while the floor and everything there. Um, yeah, so me and mum got bored uh, at the condo. We decided to go off the thing. Go off the thing. Wait, well. Anyway, uh, we decided to call an Uber. I'm not sure how we are, but Uber is in KL, but we call it Uber, an Uber X actually, just because it should be a little bit more reliable. Um, to bring us to Wakutama, which is probably about 10 15 minutes away from our traffic. So, yeah, we're gonna hang out there, grab some dinner, and see how we go. Uber experience number two. Okay, so our driver is that well it was just a minute ago. Apparently it's five minutes again now. Um anyway, it's pouring with rain. Pouring with rain at the moment. The car so many years uh, 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 we are in this massive, massive, massive shopping mall. Anyway, and our Uber costs um, three ringgit, three ringgit, which is a dollar Aussie. Apparently, with the promotion code, it costs us uh, twenty-three ringgit, but the promo was twenty bucks off, so we, I paid three ringgit. That's like a dollar Aussie to get me. About seven kilometers. How good is that, Mum? Uh -huh. So me and Mum found a jam place in uh, Eastern, I think. It's a Hokkaido Pop. You can watch it out. It looks pretty good. Looks very peaceful. Right, guys, we're in a. Uh, supermarket as you can tell and um, check 
check out there's some really cool foods that you won't see in Australia so there's one don't know what that is there's a guava so it's pink inside it's really cool that is one of my favorites sandstorm we've made this drink for sale before it looks it actually looks like that uh, this is what we call chiku I don't really like it this is one of my personal favorite star food because it looks like a star get it and these mango steam right um, these are awesome but you better don't have too much of it because it heats you up and this is one of my personal favorite jumbo um, so this we used to be able to just grab it off the tree where we live um, but apparently here it's about 11 dollars a kilo I'm not